Today I'm gonna to attempt to make the most famous dessert on the internet. This video has over 43 million views. Apparently you only need one egg and you don't need an oven. So let's see if it works. After some extensive research, we're gonna need some bananas. First we're gonna slice our bananas through the middle, lengthways like this. Oh my God, that was so bad. Just like that, and now we're gonna remove the skins without breaking the banana. Next, we're gonna melt the butter in a pan on a medium heat. I'm not sure what size pan they used, but it was a similar size to the bananas. So I guess it's a banana sized pan. And we're just gonna move the butter around until it's fully melted. Now that's melted, we're gonna sprinkle over the light brown sugar. And I'm gonna stir constantly until it caramelizes. Okay, our sugar has now turned to caramel, so I've turned off the heat and I'm gonna place our bananas on top. Let's drop that one. <laughs> so I'm gonna place them face down. So I'm gonna set these aside now. I feel like it's gonna taste amazing, but I also don't like hot bananas very much. So we'll see, let's just put this behind us. Now we need a large mixing bowl and we're gonna add in our egg and our sugar. And we're just gonna whisk these together until they're combined. Okay, that's looking good. Now we're gonna add in the oil. I'm using rapeseed oil because it's flavorless and it works great in cakes. also adding in milk and vanilla extract. The recipe did actually call for vanilla sugar, but we don't really have that in the UK, so I'm gonna be using vanilla extract instead. And I'm just gonna whisk these in until everything's fully combined. Now I'm gonna place a sieve over the top and I'm gonna sift in our flour, our cocoa powder, and baking powder. One teaspoon of that. Don't forget this one, otherwise the cake won't rise. And then grab your whisk and we're just gonna whisk these together to form our cake batter. Now we just pour our cake batter over our bananas. My pan is on a low heat, so you've gotta make sure it fully covers them. So just spread that out so it goes all the way over the bananas and to the edges of your pan. This clearly isn't the right lid for this pan, but I don't think I have a lid for this pan, so this was the only one that would fit. So I'm gonna place that over the top and I'm gonna cook it on a low heat for 20 to 25 minutes. It's been 20 minutes, so I'm gonna take off the cover. I really hope this is cooked. Okay, that looks cooked. There's, looks like a bit of butter, maybe it's just water, maybe it's a bit of condensation on the top, but I'm gonna test it with my toothpick to see if it's cooked. Come out clean. I'm slightly worried that it's overcooked, to be totally honest. Like, it looks a tiny, tiny bit on the rubbery side, but <laughs> we'll see. So now I'm gonna flip it onto a plate. I'm gonna place the plate on top, and then I'm gonna flip it. I'm actually really nervous for this. Oh, I just felt it come out. Ah, ah I just touched the pan. <laughs> okay, the moment of truth. Hey, that's not bad. It worked. I feel like it's a bit flatter than the one of the video that I watched. Let me just try and can I move it into the middle a bit. <laughs> oh, there you go. It smells really banana-y. <laughs> this actually looks pretty good, you know. The caramelized bananas on top look really delicious. I'm really surprised that it worked for some reason. I'm still obviously not a fan of hot bananas, so I don't actually know if I'm gonna like it or not, but let's cut it up and do a taste test. Okay, here we go. Let me get my cake slice. Cake slice acquired. Cake slice? That is what it's called, isn't it? Okay, I'm looking forward to trying this. It looks like a very dense cake. Like, I don't think mine has risen as well as theirs did in the video, but let's give it a taste test. Oh, I've got an entire 
vibing on it with this. Um, <laughs> it's not my favorite cake I've ever had. The banana taste is very, very strong. The cake is very dense, but it's very moist. It's not bad. I, I'm not really getting much of the caramel on top of the banana. Like the banana is very overpowering. Okay. Taste. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. That is mostly because I'm not a huge fan of hot bananas. So if you like hot bananas, you'll probably like it a lot more than I did. Texture. I'm going to give it maybe a 5 out of 10. It's the texture of the banana and the chocolate cake which is throwing me off slightly. She says as she keeps eating it. Presentation. I like it. I think like the bananas on top look really good. I think it would look better if it had risen a bit more. So maybe a slightly smaller pan or maybe a slightly more cake batter. I'm gonna give the presentation a seven. So overall, what would that be like a six? I don't know. It's not my favorite cake I've ever made. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Maybe I should put a scoop of ice cream or something with this. I feel like that would make it taste better. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you think you would like this or let me know how you guys think I did or maybe I did something wrong. If you think I did something wrong, let me know in the comments below. I won't be offended. <laughs> so guys, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.